Everybody, hope you did okay. Welcome to All Saints Church in Mixbury in Oxfordshire. Now, I've come out today on the way to my physio appointment in Newport Pagnell with Mark Booth at Body Limits. So, as I've got a 5k road race next Tuesday, I thought I'd do a little tune up session of something like six by three minutes on the lanes around here just to get a bit of 5k pace in the legs. And I thought I'd give the RC Elite version twos a go. I had my first impressions video the other day. I did a run in them last night, it wasn't too bad. Uh, I still don't think they're was quite as fast as the Adios Pro or the Next Percent 2 that I had a dead heat in my shoe off. It's probably the first time that's ever happened, but uh, I think I'll be sure to get those out for a shoe off as well. But let's see how they go today. So let's have a look at the shoes. As you can see, I've got uh, rather long yellow socks on today. And you might notice here that these are actually not overly narrow now and there's only actually four eyelets one two three four so i'm having a bit of struggle getting a lock down there but they feel reasonably tight across there but yeah just feel like they could do with a few more eyelets compared to an adidas shoe that's got about six only having four rather does restrict your abilities to get them tighter anyway let's see how we go we've got plenty of room in the toe box unlike adidas ones that actually do do a 13 and a half in these okay so let's get out for a little warm up and we'll see how we go on the way so mixbury is right on the side of the hs2 route here which i've just talked about half a mile up from mixbury village center to here is an hs2 compound so I presume that sort of bridge construction there may be a future bridge for the railway. I have to check where exactly the route's going. There's actually an old railway bridge up there. So it's going very much parallel to an old railway route here. So here's the old railway bridge. The railway used to go underneath here. And on this side here is basically a farm. You can actually get underneath there through the farm grounds. And there's a path that goes alongside it so i assume they're not actually coming through this bit actual bit of the old railway here because it'd be right in the middle of that farm which will have to be also be demolished I assume because the hs2 compounds about 100 yards up that way that's more where the route's going to go and actually going to bypass this bit but you can kind of see from behind they've actually sort of fenced off a bit of a path that, is, that goes next to the railway so uh when i feel like more like a trail run i think i'll go and have a look at that one but you can sort of see all those pylons in the way that we need to interact with the route as well so i'll see if i can overlay a map of the route and where exactly we are right let's get some strides on this bridge i think <laughs> okay strides done these RC Elites do feel very soft, but they can certainly feel the plate in them. And they're nowhere near as soft as the Rebel 2, which doesn't have a plate. So you could argue the Rebel 2 is kind of this shoe minus the plate, which does make you wonder why the Rebel 2 is about half the price. Do you really need to pay, what, best part of 100 pounds for the addition of a carbon plate and all the technologies of about putting one in? I think that's when the case of these shoes do become a bit sort of ridiculously expensive. But certainly the plate here does sort of help stabilise it. And yeah, those strides were okay. So I think what I'll try and do is if I can hide my camera somewhere and then uh, see me coming along. I think I'll start my first rep from the top of the bridge and see if we can get some shots as I come by. I hope the camera's still there when I come back. <laughs> Ah, camera's still here at least. That's something. Yeah, tough those uh, first two reps. Just over six minute pace, I think. One was fairly flat, not too much wind today. Uh, yeah, I need to get used to this higher pace. Right, I'm gonna run back to the for the next one, it's about half a mile. So I'll be starting that any second. I'm gonna report back when I get there. Oh, that was a downhill one. Just got under six minute pace. Feel like it was hard work. Shoes are okay. Maybe just a bit too wide of platform and a bit too soft for me for it to be ideal. Maybe not bad. So far down we've climbed up mixed to the main road. This is a little about 1% drag I'd say. I'll at least get a chance to run back. It's actually a half mile rep. So we've got 30 seconds to go. I'll turn around and follow that car I think. Oh, forget how hard these are. That was, I think just on a six minute pace. It was downhill though. But uh, we'll take it. All right, one more to go. I think I'll go that way. Just run for three minutes and then stop. I think it starts to go uphill. 
which won't be nice. <laughs> okay, six and final one done. As I predicted, it was with the hill at the end. Uh, I ran to the D-limit sign coming out of Mixbury, just for future reference. A good segment going from the church. Well, I forgot how hard those 5k sessions are. We've just been mainly doing steady miles the last month, a bit into threshold. I managed to do the last three weeks at 50 miles plus, which is good. Just don't feel I've got any speed on legs. So I'm still noticing this quite a bit. I do like these country lanes for running. You get the odd car passing like that, but they're never going very fast. And it's not wide enough for two to pass, so they have to go slowly, even when they see me. Yeah, British mid summer time. Oh dear. Right. What time is it? Oh, I need to be heading back to the car. Right. So the shoes were okay. I need to do a more specific test. Yeah, they sort of foamed up a bit at that pace. Although when you're doing that pace, you're really not really caring about anything. You're just wanting to see the end of the line. So did find them slightly wide on foot with only the four eyelets, just a wider base, I think, than next percent across the midfoot. So that doesn't really help. Having a very narrow and long foot, then the last thing I want to do is just sort of have more rubber on the ground, as it were. I think a wide foot two people, maybe the other way around. Certainly stable enough. I feel much more stable than the Rebel 2. So I think in that sense, I can probably a lot like these, but because uh, it'll weigh 210 pounds for these and they've got the Rebels for about half of that, then, uh, well, you would hope so, wouldn't you? Right, I'm now turning round. If you see in the distance there, the Mixbury traffic light sign and village sign, that is where I stop my reps. So exactly half a mile from the car. Right, so probably about three quarters of a mile warm down. I've done 4.7 miles in this run. And uh, yeah, my warm up, about five strides, and then six by approximately half a mile, three minutes, four minutes, whatever's sort of from one junction to another. Fortunately, there's sort of three roads that fan out from here. They're all about half a mile, so ideal. Not all flat, but uh, road races aren't all flat, are they? Although Battersea Park's pretty flat, to be fair, that I'm running next Tuesday. Right, better get me on then. So I hope you found this interesting. I'll put the splits up here somewhere so you can have a further look. I uh, look forward to seeing the next one then. Like and subscribe, please. Notice that most people don't subscribe. Maybe they just watch my videos and think they're rubbish. But I think that's pretty much common amongst everybody, isn't it? So if you could go your way to subscribe, that'd be good. I'm looking forward to getting towards 2,000 subscribers. I'm heading there, about another 150 to go, I think. So that'd be a good landmark. So I've got to 1,000 about last autumn, I think. So progress is uh, slow, but uh, getting there. So I hope you enjoy these videos again, once again, and see you next one then. Bye.